Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jim African Beauty, back at you with another video. And I am done up from the front up. Okay, that didn't make sense. But <laughs> I finally put on a full face because it's the new year. And I told myself like two years ago, I was going to try to actually get through all the makeup that I have. Just like I'm trying to get through all the hair products that I have. Which brings me here for this video for you today. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the shampoos and the conditioners. Specifically rinse out conditioners that I still use, still love. And I will be giving you um, if they are high end versus low end and like if I'm going to continue to purchase them or not. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. So the first product, I'm going to start with the low end first, is the Mish Beauty Sulfate Free Shampoo. So I got the, you guys know I did a video on this not too long ago. Come on, focus. And I enjoyed this shampoo. I did. It cleaned my hair. It did what it needed to do. Um, it wasn't overly stripping. It's, it doesn't even. It says a moisturizing and cleansing, so I'll give that a gentle cleanse. Um, my hair felt clean, and this only retails for eight dollars for this for an eight ounce. This is the travel from the travel pack, but it comes in an eight ounce container. So in the future, I will probably repurchase this for the simple fact that the price point is great, and I love supporting a black owned, black woman owned business. So that is the first one. The second one is the Curl Mix Pure Aloe Vera Shampoo, and they also have a rinse out um, grapeseed conditioner. Now this is more of a higher priced item. So these are $21 a pop. So $21 for the eight ounce. Again, this is the travel size. Um, $21 for just this one, $21 for just this one. So that's very, very high price because it only comes with eight ounces. But I have to say, I really love the entire system for the amount of moisture and curl definition that I get from their products. So the shampoo definitely cleans my hair um, so that my curls can pop. And it's very, uh, you actually get really good slip with this one as well. And then my hair loves grapeseed oil. So whenever I see something with grapeseed oil in it, it's it's a done deal. I'm going to buy it again. <laughs> so I actually really love this. I love using this system whenever I just want to get a nice cleanse in my hair and my scalp. And then I don't want to do a deep conditioner. I can just throw, um, throw on the rinse out conditioner. And it works perfectly fine. My hair is still nice and soft. And I can go on with my wash day. But it is a higher price item. Now I do think it's worth the money. Because of the, the ingredients are bomb, and like I said, the, the results that I get on my hair is bomb. So I would personally buy it again, um, but it will be a splurge when I buy these ones again. So there's that. Next, I will be talking to you about a new brand that I just got hip to. My little sister loves this brand, and i just been using her products. The last time I came to my parents' house, and I didn't bring any hair products. So I uh, had to use her hair products, and she uses Carol's Daughter. She loves it, swears by it, all the, the whole nine. So this is, these are her products, but I'm just going to use them for your sake. I use these for like a solid month, so I probably need to buy her a new one. Love you, sissy, if you're watching this. Um, so here we go. So this is the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Line, their shampoo and their conditioner. It says it's a fortifying shampoo. I can't remember if this was a clarifier or not, but it cleaned my hair just fine. It lathered up real nicely. And then the conditioner added all the moisture back to my hair. Um, not that it stripped all the moisture out, but you know, I have to always balance my hair between shampoo and conditioning. You know, I want the pH to be balanced in my hair after my wash day. So would 100% buy these um, for myself because again, these are my sisters. And the price of this is, these are $10 each, so that's a great price, because this comes with 11 fluid ounces. That's under a dollar per fluid ounce. That's that's 100% repurchase. And again, I can do a simple wash my hair if I don't feel like deep conditioning. I can do a normal rinse out conditioner, move on with my wash day. The next shampoo I'll be talking to you about, this one does not come with a rinse out conditioner. This one only comes with a deep conditioner and that will be the same for the other two products that I will be talking to you today as well. 
So this is the Audra Beauty, the Audra Beauty shampoo. Now I like this shampoo. It's definitely a moisturizing shampoo, but it gets my hair nice and clean. It smells like mint. I love it. But this one is on the higher price range. So again, when I buy this again, it'll be a splurge. Like I'll probably go through my more cheaper priced hair products first and then circle back around to this one but I love this shampoo it gets the job done it cleanses my hair cleanses my scalp and the mint smell is lovely the price of this I believe is 20 22 dollars so 22 dollars and you get 12 fluid ounces so it's better than eight fluid ounces I'll give them that but personally it's still fairly expensive and you can only actually you could get them at Sephora now I believe before you can only get it online so that actually is a plus on their behalf I no longer have to pay for shipping if I don't want to the next product we're going to be talking about is this is also an expensive product um, this is one I just tried not too long ago so if you haven't checked out that video go ahead check it out it is the 4c only come too thick shampoo I'm mad I was about to say come clean uh, but yeah so this shampoo is very interesting so it's very thick like it it smells amazing but it's very thick and it it was kind of cool because it, it when I felt it I thought it was actually a a gel it feels kind of like a gel or a curling custard but it's a shampoo it lathers onto the hair nicely um but my hair has to be like i have to be like in the shower because i tried to just do like i was trying to record for you guys the wash and when i was doing it outside of the shower it wasn't really lathering up so it definitely needs water uh which go figure right so i washed in the shower once i got in the shower it was lathering up just fine got a nice clean out of my hair and this one retails for $25 and as far as I'm concerned you can still only get this online so you can't really get it around shipping and handling um, but I did enjoy this but will I buy it again I might do it for the culture <laughs> like again this would be a splurge I liked it I really did um, but it's definitely a more pricier item so again I'd probably reach for a cheaper item because it is shampoo I go through shampoo quicker than like you know styling um, products and deep conditioners so because shampoo I shampoo about every week so if, if, if it's $25 you know you know what you know I take it all back it's $25 for 12 fluid ounces and you don't have to use a lot to get your hair to lather so I guess when you factor in all those factors it is worth it but again I still probably wouldn't reach for it first I'd probably still go to one that's just a little more shelf accessible and then if I want to splurge on myself I'll go ahead and get my 4c only because I just first of all I love their whole motto like I love that you finally made stuff for people who have 4c hair and it's not like we're an afterthought we are the thought so shout out to them on that so yeah I, I definitely would do it for the culture uh, there's another one that I have that I like. It's from the Kinky Curly line. It's Kinky Curly Come Clean. And it is a clear shampoo. You can literally see right through it. It is translucent. And it is a clarifier. Your hair will feel clean, stripped, naked. Okay, I'm talking nothing will be on your hair. But I like that when I'm doing my wash and goes because it'll get all that gunk out. And the price is not too much. So I'll just insert a picture of that one because I'm at my parents' house so I don't have the actual bottle on me. And then last but not least, we are going to talk about the infamous Olaplex. Y'all know I love this line. This is the 4 and the 5. Now, again, these, I'm just saying right off the bat, they're a splurge. Olaplex, $28 a pop, Okay. These are the most expensive products that I have tried out of this entire video. But I love them because I love how it does truly make my hair feel, feel stronger and it actually still feels soft. And again, it's a rinse out conditioner so I can just put the shampoo in, rinse, uh, put the conditioner in, leave it in for like 5-7 minutes, rinse it out, move on with my wash day. Love that. These are splurge but because of the benefits that I would get from them, I would buy them again. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, it, it would definitely be uh, uh, something that like I'll probably do soon because it's they're both halfway gone. 
so I'll probably buy these soon but uh, again I'll probably get through my other shampoos I usually use this whole combo when I'm getting my ends clipped or I because I have to straighten my hair so whenever I want to straighten my hair of any kind add any type of heat to my hair I'm going to this line so that is all I have for you guys so I hope this video was helpful I hope you guys Try some of these products. They, I have both high and low end products. And by high end and low end, I'm, I'm talking strictly price point. But I think all of the products that I spoke about, all of them give great quality results. So my whole theory of, you know, is high end products, are they really just pricey just to be pricey? And are low end products, are they cheap because they have cheap, you know, ingredients? I'm going to say for this little batch, no, it does not. I think that both the high and the low end in price range, they gave out good results. So, totally will buy all of them again, um, more than likely. But definitely, in, it depends on how the financial situation is going, right? You know, we gotta, you know, be smart with the financials. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button so you never miss another upload from me. And y'all, I will see you in the next video. God bless.